Hi guys, hi everybody. For this time, I'm going to tell you about an interesting board game. It's called chess. I will make a short description about how to play chess. Well, I'm going to begin with a little of its story. And at the end of this video, I hope you like to play chess. History of chess. The origins of chess are not exactly clear, though most believe it evolved from earlier chess-like games played in India. Almost 2,000 years ago, the game of chess we know today has been around since the 15th century where it became popular in Europe. The goal of chess. Chess is a game played between two opponents and opposite sides of a board containing 64 squares of alternating colors. Each player has 16 pieces. A king, one queen, two rooks, two bishops, two knights, and eight pawns. The goal of the game is to checkmate the other king. Checkmate happens when the king is in a position to be captured in check and cannot escape from capture. Starting the chess game. At the beginning of the game, the chess board is laid out so that each player has a white color square in the bottom right hand side. The chess pieces are then arranged the same way each time. The second row is filled with pawns. The rooks go in the corners, the, then the knights next to them, followed by the bishops and finally the queen who always goes on her own matching color. White queen on white, black queen on black, and the king on the remaining square. The player with the white pieces always moves first. How the pieces move? The king. The king is the most important piece, but is one of the weakest. The king can only move one square in any direction, up, down, to the side, and diagonally. The queen. The queen is the most powerful piece. She can move in any one straight direction, forward, backward, sideways, or diagonally, as far as possible as long as she does not move through any of her own pieces. And, like with all pieces, if the queen captures an opponent's piece, her move is over. The rook. The rook may move as far as it wants, but only forward, backward, and to the sides. The rooks are particularly powerful pieces when they are protecting each other and working together. The bishop. The bishop may move as far as it wants, but only diagonally. Each bishop starts on one color and must always stay on that color. Bishops work well together because they cover up each other's weaknesses. The knight. Knights move in a very different way from the other pieces, going through squares in one direction and then one more move at a 90 degree angle, just like the shape of an L. Knights are also the only pieces that can move over other pieces. The pawn. Pawns are unusual because they move and capture in different ways. They move forward, but capture diagonally. Pawns can only move forward one square at a time, except for their very first move, where they can move forward two squares. Pawns can only capture one square diagonally in front of them. They can never move or capture backwards. If there is another piece directly in front of the pawn, he cannot move past or capture that piece. This was a short explanation about how to play chess. Well, see you soon.